Turn One is brought to you by GoFastClassics.com, the Simeon Foundation Automotive Museum, and Tony Damiano Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Today on Turn One, we're at Pocono Raceway. Not with one car, with three. A Hellcat. <laughs> Holy hell! A C7 Corvette. <laughs> and also the Fiat 500. Coming at you from Turn One. Today, this couldn't be possible if it wasn't for one of our partners, Tony Damiano of Tony Damiano Chrysler, Jeep, and many other dealerships. Yeah, Thank you, good. Tony. Thank you for having oh, it's, it's and hosting my this. Yeah, it's a, it's a great day, beautiful day uh, to be out of Pocono. We never had it so all to ourselves. The first thing we needed to do was evaluate what each of our cars were capable of. We ran each car through a timed eighth mile run on the front straight of the Pocono Raceway. We chose the little Fiat 500 to start. The 2,400 pound, 1.4 liter turbocharged paper shredder put out a surprising 160 horsepower with 170 foot pounds of torque. The appropriately named Velocity Yellow Corvette had a sweetheart of a drivetrain. The car only weighs 3,400 pounds, but it punches out 455 horsepower, as well as 455 foot-pounds of torque. One. The power was ferocious, while the chassis would allow any driver to feel as though they can compete with the best. The vet was consistent and put up impressive, consistent times. While Old Yellow was cooling down, it was time for all hell to break loose, literally. The Hellcat was impressive. Let me put it in perspective. The Hellcat supercharger alone requires half of the Fiat's output just to turn the pulleys. Oh, this car's so fast. While being an entire liter larger in displacement. By far the most quintessentially American product to leave Detroit since the 1970s. Now it's time when the rubber meets the road. A standoff between the C7 Corvette and the Hellcat. Some shows keep their professional drivers a secret. It's not on turn one. We're bringing out Sage Karam. He's a Lexus driver and also an Indy 500 driver. He's gonna run with us. All right, Mr. Sage Karam, Indy 500 driver, Lexus driver. I'm coming to get you with the bat. I'm coming to get you, buddy. All right, this is a drag race, brother. All right. I will say this is my first drag race I've ever done. So we'll see what happens. Give it all I got. Man, that was close. But uh, once we got it hooked up, got it to like third gear, he actually got a better launch. Uh, I couldn't get the tires to hook up, but then once I got it hooked up, we just motored right around him. But that was close. That was fun. That Corvette can move, too. Let's try that again. Straight line drag race is one thing. Now let's see, from my view, what really matters. The twisties. Yeah, let's see what we can do.
pushing the thing. Fiat was actually impressive around the track, although understeer was an issue. Yeah, we don't got it in this thing. We need more straight line. Corvette, on the other hand, showed us what 65 years of refinement could offer the world. Overall, the Corvette had the acceleration and handling you demand in a sports car. That thing flies. Fun. So we'll see what this thing can do. Um, gonna be interesting. I think this thing, uh, I think we'll be going faster down the straights, but I think the Corvette probably had a little bit better um, uh, cornering speed. Uh, it just feels like that car is, really sucks down at the track, so we'll see. I've never taken a corner in this car yet. We've only done eight mile drag races, so let's get it. Cat could easily compete for top spot around the high bank turns and long straightaways. But when we tightened up the course with short, quick turns, the Hellcat's weight came into play. Yeah, it doesn't uh, turn as well as the vet does. That sound it makes, though. Amazing. Amazing noise coming from this engine. Really makes you uh, makes you think American Muscle when you're behind the wheel of this thing. A lot of understeer here. Oversteer off the corner, obviously a lot of horsepower behind behind us here. So here we go, We're coming uh, around the last two corners. Yeah, I just can't. Um, just don't have the, the cornering. So fun though, a lot of fun. This car is awesome. I love this car. That car is sketchy. <laughs> that car is sketch. That's fast, right that car? It, dude, that thing is so fast, but yeah, it doesn't handle anything like that. I said that. I, I said that about the Hellcat. It's just all about too much power. Uh, the, weight, the weight is the issue. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a big car. The, the, I mean, it goes thing, from understeer to oversteer are fast, is what you're saying, right? It comes really quick. Yeah, so like if like you put a lot of wheel into the car, you know, and then you, you start to pick up throttle, you know, eventually the front's going to grip. And when it does grip, if, you, if you're if you overcompensating on turning in and you have so much wheel put in, it's just going to really rip the car loose. So, like, that's what we, we call oversteer or understeer to oversteer, um, like in indie cars and stuff, because, um, you know, you, you're, you definitely don't want both of them happening in the same corner. Um, so you try and engineer a way to only have one problem for a corner instead of having both. And 
usually if you have an understeer car, you're going to be a little loose off. So that's why I kind of like having my cars just a little bit, you know, loose coming in because I, I really don't like an understeer. But that's why it was hard in the uh, hard. That's in understeer. the Fiat is, that's is because it's just all understeer because it's front wheel drive. So. But I couldn't believe you were into a corner with that. And you would think that the front wheels, you know, you're, you're cornering and you give it the gas like the old front wheel drives and it would pull you through. Yeah. This one, when you give it the gas, you're still sliding until you let it off the gas and then you power slide yeah. around it. So you, it was, I, I don't have a lot of steer with the, the throttle too. But yeah, was, I don't have a lot of like, experience driving front wheel drive cars like at all, even on a track. So that was kind of something new for me, like a new feeling. But um, yeah, it, it just seemed like if you added more throttle, it, it kind of, it did. It made the understeer a lot worse and stuff. And it wasn't, it, definitely it, did, yeah. it was hard to... For, used to for, for me, it was like I was trying to like just hit the brakes and whatever, right. just to try and get the weight to transfer to the exactly. front and just that's, get it that's to exactly point. That's exactly what I yeah. was doing, so you could sl kind of slide around because mm -hmm. it wouldn't pull. But right. it's still the times were compelling. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I did like what 107 yeah. in yeah. that or 106, yeah, I think and then about the difference between horsepower and so on, you know. And, uh, and this is it's only about 10 seconds slower than I was in the vet. Yeah, it's amazing. You know? I had some fun today. Let me it was tell you. a lot of fun. And yeah, you did we, a great job connected. driving. Yeah, well, okay. And Tony's friend Sage came. And we had a great, great episode for you guys. It was a great day. Check out Tony's uh, website and some of his deals he has going on right now. You'll be very surprised at the pricing and the service. And Thank Tony's you, just a heck of a guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Fantastic. Turn one. Turn one. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. The Turn One crew wants to give back to its viewers and subscribers. So click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our adventures. Before that, we're gonna have a monthly contest. And that contest is gonna be our friends at Go Fast Classics. They're supplying us with BMW stem caps as well as license plate bolt caps matching. And we also have camouflage if you're a truck driver. Click on subscribe for more adventures and you'll be entered automatically by leaving a comment so we know who you are in our giveaway, our monthly giveaway. Tune in to turn one.